Amber, Trey, I realize that this is a difficult date for you. Um, December 23rd cannot go by in any year in which it doesn't affect me. There's not a single day that goes by that I don't think about how your son's affected my life. And um, I carry on because of him. And you guys were a family to, to me, to Bilski, to the rest of his friends. We had a lot of fun. And... Um, Paul is a near and dear friend of mine. Even though I only knew him a brief amount of time, he's managed to not only impact my life, but everybody else around us. And um, I guess the most important thing that Paul did for us all was he let us, he believed in us. Especially, I mean, from a personal standpoint, the first time I met him was the first time I really performed musically in front of anybody. And since that day, he just encouraged and encouraged and encouraged. I mean, we even kicked him out of the band and he continued just to be the glue that held us together. I've never known such a selfless man. I really haven't. I mean, even in, I only have a few pictures in which I was able to gather, sadly enough, because we didn't take pictures back in them days. I mean, and in, in them pictures, I mean, there's, there's a picture of Paul sitting in his underwear eating cereal and that just goes to show just how easygoing Paul Paul really was he was comfortable with himself and he taught us something uh, he was a couple years younger than me and yet I look at him as a mentor he just had a way of portraying his message through other people he had something to say and if he personally did not have the strength to convey that to other people he found ways of relating to people. He found ways. He believed in people. When you believe in somebody, you have their attention. And if you get their full attention, then they will truly understand your message. That is what I took from Paul. And in that short amount of time, I mean, I've scripted my life to, to be everything I wanted, in a sense, to get in the right movements. Because I know that's what he wants. That's, that's what I know he would want from all of us. I mean, he joked around and said he was the glue that held us together. He really was. Because when he left, a lot of us really did stop talking. And I'm sad to see that he's not with us anymore. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. He's tattooed to my arm. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I hope this video makes it to you. I really do. I mean, this isn't like a ploy he really means that much to me and I don't think really my family doesn't understand it because they look at it like I've only was friends with him for a couple of years but the truth is is he was probably one of the most important friends I ever had in my life and that's why I felt the need to make this video and that's why I felt the need to have this video done by December 23rd it's been six years I can't believe it it hurts just as much today as it did December 23rd 2005 well Actually, it was Christmas Eve, and I'm, I apologize if, if it's actually the 24th that he died. Um, you know, the, it doesn't make it any easier. Yeah. I, I got that call Christmas Eve morning, and a part of me died. It really did. I hope, I hope all is well. And I hope you got. I hope the family continues to carry on, because that's what Paul would want. Paul would want us to be the best that we could be. 
and I just wanted to let you know what your son has meant to me and not just me but I can't speak for other people I can only speak for myself and Paul was a brother to me take care have a blessed holiday season